Hey, Phil. How are you doing? Andre Johnson scored a touchdown and I won my fantasy matchup last night, so I'd say I'm doing pretty darn good, Joe. It's funny you say you're doing good because you appear to have a giant swordfish poking through your chest. Oh, well, uh, other than that, I'm doing good. Okay, I seem to be way more concerned about this than you are, so I'll ask. How the hell did a swordfish manage to impale your chest? Well, I was at the Red Lobster the other day. Obviously, I'd never eat that crap wall of sound mind, so I was really drunk. Well, that goes without saying. So I'm stumbling around, I crash into the wall, I fall face down, the swordfish comes off the wall, and, well, I think you can fill in the rest. No, I can't fill in the rest because you're still here and not at, I don't know, a hospital? I don't know how you do things in red states, but when I get mortally wounded by a 10-foot-long sea creature, I seek medical attention. But, you know, that's just me. I ain't going to no hospital. So you're going to try to pull it out yourself? Nah, don't be ridiculous. I'm going to just leave it in. And that's a better choice than going to the hospital. Dude, our healthcare system is in shambles. I'm flat broke, and my insurance costs more than what it covers. I can't afford it. So until those white fat cats on Capitol Hill figure something out, the fish stays. God, I hate white people so much. You're white. And it burns me up inside. You can't live with a swordfish jammed through your chest. Women won't like it. It'll be a conversation starter. The swordfish will be the first interesting thing I've had to talk about with a woman since that time I fit three entire hamburgers in my mouth. That wasn't interesting. It was just gross. Then this is the first interesting thing I've ever had to talk about in my life. Well, fair enough. But what about football games? I can still watch football. Think about the congratulatory chest bumps we give each other when the Colts score. You literally kill me if you give me one. We all have to make sacrifices. How are you not dead anyway? How did that thing not pierce your heart or a lung? I'm not a marine biologist. I don't know these things. Get your ass to a friggin' hospital. Hell no. Don't worry. Help is on the way. Who said that? Down here. Did you know that Dyco now offers health insurance? It's true. Now a 15-minute phone call could save you 15% on your next hospital visit. Just call us right before you leave for the hospital, and we'll take care of the rest. Is that really true? Uh, don't take it from me. Just ask these satisfied customers. Uh, I, I accidentally severed my carotid artery shaving. I've been on hold with Tycho for five minutes now. <clears throat> but I've only lost a pint of blood so far, so I kind of like my chances of survival. I found out I had a rare heart condition, and I needed life-saving surgery, or I'd be dead in two months. I had a choice between dying or getting the surgery and living under a crushing boulder of debt for the rest of my natural life, robbing me and my family of any sort of meaningful or fulfilling existence. The 15% I saved with Dyko slightly tipped my decision in favor of living. I called Dyko when I got my penile implants. This particular procedure isn't covered by them, as it's, uh, non-essential. But I still enjoyed bragging about my new package to the friendly customer service rep. You see? Dyko can give you what you need at a fraction of the cost. Okay, you convinced me. I'll give them a call right now. Thank you for calling Dyko's health insurance service. Our next customer service rep will be available in 10 minutes. Please enjoy the music while you wait. Put my hands up to play my song, the butterflies fly away. Not in my head like yeah, moving my hips like yeah. Got my hands up to play my song, you know I'm gonna be okay. Oh god, oh god, no! F*** this, it's not worth it. I'm keeping the fish.